Hey everyone, my name is Deja and I've recently lost 57 pounds, but that wasn't always easy. I tried eating less, counting calories, exercising, restricting myself, and didn't realize that all I had to do was eat more high fiber foods, less overt fats, and that that was going to be the answer to all of my weight problems. Everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stasia, and like you just heard, I have recently almost lost 60 pounds following a whole food plant based diet. Now, I know we're constantly bombarded with, you know, all the secret tricks and hacks and magical stuff, potions and lotions that we should be using to get the weight off. <laughs> but for me, the true magic has really been eating high fiber foods. For so many years, I struggled to figure out how to lose weight. And then it was like, as soon as I lowered my overt fats and increased my high fiber foods, the weight just started to fall off. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing four of my favorite high fiber foods that I aim to get in my diet every single day. But before we jump into today's video, and in case it's the first time you're landing on one of my videos, Right now, I am running an awesome, awesome sale on all of my weight loss recipe eBooks. It is in the spirit of Father's Day. Now, I know that a lot of my followers are women, but that doesn't mean that we're gonna forget about the men in our lives or the men who follow this channel. So all the same, we are going to celebrate you guys and kick off this weekend with an amazing sale of all of my books being only $7. And that includes my newest weight loss recipe eBook called Shake Off the Weight. This book here is so near and dear to my heart because honestly, these shakes were such an amazing part of my weight loss journey. I just really can't even stress it enough. At any rate, you'll find out a little bit later in this video how these shakes were incorporated into my weight loss journey and why. And of course, if you're just looking for some general recipes to make to help you on your weight loss journey, then all of my other weight loss recipe ebooks are also on sale for $7. And that also includes my weight loss recipe ebook that contains almost all the recipes that I was eating all the time to get those first 30 pounds off. So if if you want to check out that book sale then I will have the link posted in the description box below. So I'll also mention that this is a limited time special and only available to the first 50 people by the time I release this video. So if you're interested in checking out those sales then I will have the link posted in my description box below. So good luck and happy Father's Day to all of our wonderful fathers out there. All right, so the first high fiber food that I'm gonna talk about are beans. Now, I've been talking about beans on my channel for a really, really long time. And I've always kind of joked that in the whole food plant-based community, often we hear more about potatoes, 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 potatoes. Everybody's loving and talking about potatoes. But here on my little corner in space on YouTube, I have been talking about beans for years because I always felt that beans were either, you know, neck and neck with potatoes in terms of satiety as well as being versatile, or I would even say that they have maybe just a little bit more up on potatoes for me personally. So beans have been a huge part of my weight loss journey. And the reason for me is that I just love that they're both high in fiber and protein. And I swear when I have beans, they keep me full so long. Like I'm talking, I can at least go three to four hours without needing any snacks or, you know, I can make it to my next meal if I have even just around a cup of beans. I just find that they don't really sit on my stomach too heavy, but they just keep me kind of wanting for nothing. Like I just feel really good, really full, and they just keep me nice and even feeling, if you know what I mean. And actually beans are known to help regulate our blood sugars. So that probably has something to do with it. But honestly, it just makes me feel just really evened out, not craving, you know, not starving, not suffering just to make it to my next meal. Like they really do a nice job at making me feel full. And when we're trying to lose weight, I mean, that is literally the goal, right? Because often when we think of losing weight, we think of having to starve ourselves and feel really really hungry. I really feel like beans are like an underrated starch but yeah I just think that beans don't get enough credit for how full they keep us and just how amazing they are for our health. They're a blue zone food. If you don't know what that is quick google search will tell you everything but they are literally one of the healthiest foods on the planet to be eating and people in the blue zones they consume them every single day. So learning this about beans you know I really was scratching my head about how I can get them in because Typically, when we're eating a North American diet, it can be a little bit tricky to figure out how to eat 
eat beans every single day. Well, at least it was for me. And that is where the birth of these fiber protein shakes came from. Is that I wanted to figure out a way that I could get the beans in every single day because I knew that they did such a good job at keeping me nice and full. So my fiber protein shakes have just been an incredible, easy, easy way to get the beans in every single day. Sometimes I will throw up to even one cup of beans in one of my shakes. And when I do that, I promise you, I don't need another meal for at least four hours. Like it is so incredible how they are able to sustain me until I get to my next meal. So again, I did just release my brand new Shake Off The Weight ebook and that has 22 different flavors of those shakes in there. If you wanna check it out, that is also on sale for $7. Also, I should mention that I've shared a lot of my fiber protein shake recipes here on my channel. So you can just have fun going through those videos and you'll find a bunch there. So you certainly don't need to buy the books in order to enjoy those recipes. All right, so my second high fiber food that I eat all the time and aim every day to get it in at some point are potatoes or sweet potatoes. So they're definitely a second runner up to beans. I'm in a constant debate whether they're neck and neck or beans are better. Anyways, doesn't matter. But I consumed a lot of potatoes and sweet potatoes to get this weight off. So potatoes have actually been studied and ranked the number one food that is the most satiating in the world. I mean, that's up for debate as far as I'm concerned. But at any rate, that is the status of the potatoes. So there it is, who am I to argue with it? But honestly, potatoes are super, super filling. Now potatoes have got a bad reputation in the past of being a carb, you know, the evil carb that's going to make us gain weight. Well, that's really funny because I have lost almost 60 pounds and I've eaten a ton of potatoes. So I can assure you that the potatoes did not make me gain weight. In fact, they helped me do the opposite. So one of the reasons potatoes got a bad rep is because of how they're usually prepared. You know, we usually think of potato chips or french fries, which are deep fried or for having a baked potato or loaded potato you know you're adding the butter the cheese the sour cream like all these things that would make them extremely extremely calorie dense and not an optimal choice for weight loss but the potatoes i'm talking about are prepared using no overt fat whatsoever so no butter no oil and the best most dreamy way of preparing the potatoes for me have been in the instant pot and when i tell you you will not miss the fat eating them this way. I am not exaggerating. Now, I like to cook mine for an extra long time. And now that's kind of the little hack that will make them super fluffy with no fat needed. I usually cook them in my Instant Pot on high for about 20 minutes or so. It just kind of depends on the size of the potato. I would say that that would be more for like a small or medium potato. And I would cook them even longer for a large potato. When they come out, they come out without fail, super, super fluffy. You know, there's so many different options that you can use to kind of make them like a loaded potato if you want, just without using any fat. The key thing here for weight loss is that we want to keep them as low calorie dense as possible, which means that we have to keep them as close to their natural state as possible. I mean, potatoes are full of fiber, they're inexpensive, and they are everybody's favorite comfort food. Like seriously, potatoes are the ultimate comfort food. So how amazing that we can eat them and still lose weight as long as we're preparing them in the right way. Okay, so I just kind of figured something out in my brain here. Uh, so I would say that beans are my number one high fiber food that I drink. I know that sounds funny to say that I drink beans, but because I throw them in my shakes, technically I do. And potatoes are my number one high fiber food that I actually enjoy eating. Okay, so there you go. So I guess they are kind of neck and neck as far as being my favorite high fiber foods that I ate for weight loss. Okay, so my third favorite high fiber food I'm gonna talk about today are oats. Now oats have always been a favorite starch of mine, although I will say for for some reason, I didn't eat a ton of them in the first 30 pounds. No rhyme or reason to it. I just don't know why. Maybe I had eaten too many oats at that point and they just weren't a starch that I was focused on. I ate them sometimes, but they weren't my number one go-to while I was losing the first 30 pounds. However, I have been eating a lot of oats in that second half of my weight loss journey where I've lost almost an additional 27 pounds now. So oats have definitely made the cut this time around. And there are a few reasons why oats are one of my go-to high fiber foods. One of them being that they are literally the most convenient starch to prepare. You know, all the other starches pretty much take, you know, a decent amount of time to cook. So that's why it's really great when we have, you know, potatoes, sweet potatoes, rice, 
you know, different grains prepared in advance because oftentimes when we're really hungry, we don't have, you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes to wait for these starches to cook. So it's always a good idea to have some of those prepped in advance. However, oats are kind of the one starch that it's super fast to make them. So those have been a game changer on my weight loss journey. When I really find myself, you know, in a pinch, I might not have anything prepared, or maybe I just need to grab something to bring with me if I'm going to mom's house, you know, for a few hours. Oatmeal is a fantastic, super easy meal to whip up really, really fast when you're hungry. The thing is with oats too, is that they're not just a breakfast food. Once we start removing labels like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and we just see food as food, you know, you can eat oatmeal any time of the day. So even if you're getting home from work and you know, you have nothing prepared and you are really hungry, I can't tell you how many times I had oatmeal for breakfast. Like you could ask my husband and my kids on that. I would just whip it up because I'm like, I know I can have oatmeal in five minutes and then you can top it with whatever toppings and you've got a complete full meal, you know, in five minutes. So hands down, oats are one of my favorite high fiber foods to go to when I'm in a pinch, I'm hungry and I need to eat something fast. And don't even get me started on how versatile oats are. You can do so many different things with oats. And let me add how inexpensive they are. So with all the things you can make with them, it is just such a bang for your buck, which is everything in today's economy. I got my oats in some of those fiber protein shakes. A few of those flavors have oats in them. I also love banana oat pancakes. Oh my gosh, they're so good if you're a pancake lover. You're gonna love those. As well as my two ingredient oat wraps. I actually just posted a video a couple days ago where I showed one of my favorite breakfasts and those are my PB&J roll-ups and I use my oat wraps. And there's only two ingredients in these oat wraps, literally just oats and water. Like it's fantastic. And there's no oil, no fat, no nothing. And these are amazing, amazing wraps that once again are so versatile and you can use them in many, many different ways. So for all those reasons, oats are definitely an amazing high fiber food that has been an incredible part of my weight loss and I'm confident it can be for you as well. Okay, so my last high fiber food that I eat, I wouldn't say every day, but I would say multiple times a week. And this also I feel is kind of an underrated starch and that is quinoa because I feel like oftentimes we hear a lot of people talk so much about rice or there's just endless rice dishes. And while I enjoy rice like the next person, I've recently been trying to kind of swap out the rice in place of quinoa instead. Quinoa is definitely more nutrient rich than rice is, especially if we're talking about white rice because as we all know it's been stripped of its fiber there's going to be a lot more nutrients and a lot more fiber in quinoa than there is in rice particularly white rice quinoa also has a higher protein profile than rice does not that i'm super crazy about getting a ton of protein in my diet i feel like that's also very overrated you know especially with social media and stuff protein 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 i don't feel that our protein needs are exactly what they say they should be. Um, so I'm definitely not worried about my protein intake. However, because I am plant-based, I'm vegan, I do enjoy eating plant-based foods that are higher in protein just to cover all my bases. And the last thing I'm gonna mention about quinoa is how I love that you can eat it either hot or cold. I have made some amazing quinoa salads, especially with summer coming up. You know, it's just so easy to whip together and it stores really well in the fridge. Or if you're craving a warm plate, something, you know, like comfort food and warm and satiating, especially in those winter months, then quinoa will work all the same. So I just love that you can play with quinoa a little bit in the recipes and have it either hot or cold, whichever one you prefer. All right, guys, so those are my four high fiber foods that I try to get in my diet every single day. I hope I did a good job explaining why I choose those four foods and aim to get them in my diet. There's just so many benefits to those high fiber foods and just in general, any high fiber plant-based foods are amazing when it comes to both our health and weight loss. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it's really been the high fiber foods that have made all the difference in trying to get this weight off. Because once again, they're low in fat, high in fiber, super healthy. They're gonna keep us full, which is everything. I can't stress it enough. It's everything when you're trying to lose weight. Just think about that for a second. When we're not hungry, we're not gonna be reaching for the junk food. And when we're not hungry, then that means that this way of eating is something that we can sustain for a very long time to come. Because often when we jump on those diets, 
that, you know, leave us starving. We can only do that for so long before we're like, you know what, forget this. We're throwing in the towel and just going back to our bad eating ways and, you know, just starting over again on Monday. <laughs> We've all been there. So eat high fiber foods that keep you full and keep you feeling motivated because you'll be like, yeah, I feel good. I'm not starving myself. I don't feel hungry. I can see myself doing this long term. And then once you start seeing the weight fall off, you will just be that much more motivated. All right, everyone, I'm gonna leave the video here. If you found some value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up for me. And of course, if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you stick around. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And lastly, don't forget about that awesome Father's Day book special. All my books are on sale for seven bucks, the first 50 people. So if you wanna check that out, again, the link is in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we will see all of you in the next one.